All right, hello everybody. My name is Dalton Rullinger, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Sailwind. This is the Tea Merchant series, even though <laughs> it's been a minute since we actually took any tea. Um, in the previous episode, we came here to uh, Firefish Lagoon. What's the name of this town again? Firefish Town. Okay. Um, we're in a bit of a dis in a desperate situation, however, because. We're low on food, and this place doesn't really sell um, anything great, as far as I can tell. The oranges over here replenish a pretty decent amount, so I'm just going to buy a bunch of these, and hope that's good enough. <clears throat> um, got enough water to last me for a while though so we need to explore around a little bit more and see what the rest of this archipelago has to offer I think we've got two more towns to explore um, I thought there was a map over here somewhere there it is All right, so we're in firefish town and we need to go to Ona and then try to get to Sina. In the previous episode, we also went to Kika Bay. That was the first town we found here. And this thing wasn't so expensive. I'd like to have it, but I need the money for right now, at least. Uh, what about fishing poles? No, I'm, I'm probably making a mistake there, but I need the money for in the event that I uh, come across something more sustainable than oranges and less expensive. Okay, so admittedly, I don't know what the best route to, to get there would actually be. I don't really know which way the wind... I believe the wind blows from the... From the northwest and goes to the north to the southeast uh and yes i'm saying east correctly this time or no i'm not east is this way dalton good god why do i get west and east confused all the time it comes in from the northeast and it goes to the southwest okay i don't know why i'm having so much trouble with that okay so let's take this green tobacco Three days to get there, which I'm going to assume is good enough. And unless I'm blind or just haven't come across it, I haven't seen one of the, the new boats we're supposed to be able to buy, so provided they're even in the game yet. I do like this archipelago, though. It, it, it's a lot more detailed than the others. You can definitely tell uh, Raw Lion has been improving his skills a little bit. It's a lot tougher to navigate. It's a lot uh, harder to see where the heck you're going, especially at night. Like, you practically have to anchor at night just because it's so, it's so blackout. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... And more from the dock. Push our boat out. Uh, that's that's the wrong. <laughs> um, this is what I'm looking for. So we want to go to the north, <clears throat> the northeast, I believe, which is kind of where we're going now. Let's see here. It's more directly east, honestly. 
So let's head, I guess let's head in this direction. As best as we can, anyway. Oh yeah, if you've got a bigger boat, you definitely want to be paying attention to where heck you're going here. Sheesh. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Why why am I I want to be going the other way. Why am I getting east and west confused so often here? This is <laughs> <clears throat> This is bad. This is just Apparently, I haven't getting it. I haven't been getting enough sleep or something, because uh, not being able to get east and west correct is kind of kind of bad, kind of bad. Now the real question is, can I actually make this turn? Did I want to make it in the first place as well? Okay, let's get between these rocks over here, then we'll have a chance to look at the map a little bit closer. <clears throat> It's so hot in here. Good, good lord. I feel like I'm burning up. Okay. <clears throat> now, just to make sure we can actually sail down this river here. I believe we should be good enough for now. Okay. So, let's take a closer look at this map. Uh, sail down here. We get to this bay opening area. Just basically sail to the to the <coughs> to the far side, and then head north. <coughs> Got something caught in my throat, apparently. <coughs> All right. I think for right now, I'll just keep the main mast and the jib sail out. This way I can kind of keep things under control a little bit better. Um, Actually, I think okay, there's a beach over there, there's a long stretch of rock here, then there's an opening over here. <clears throat> I think we're actually coming through here. Yeah. Because there's this little island here, then there's this bigger island, and you got this beach over here, and then there should be... Yeah, there's sand dunes up there, so we've got to be, like, around in this area right now. So, basically, we, what we want to do is we, we want to follow this rock, and then turn west. West, Dalton, this is west. 
head to the far side of the of the bay and then uh, turn north up into the into these channels up here. Okay. Now I have an idea of what the heck's going on. there-ish should probably be fine for right now anyway. All right, I think I'm going to show this entire journey. That way you guys can see more of the of the archipelago. Because I, I do love the design of this place. Like, you really have to pay attention where the heck you're going. It's not so bad with the smaller ships, but with the bigger ships, yeah. Like, I saw on the Discord that somebody tried bringing a sand buck into Kika Bay. <laughs> uh, he uh, he had a, a fun time trying to get that thing out of there. But it is nice to see, like, an area where it's not so accessible for the bigger ships, right? Like, once you get the bigger ships, the smaller ships kind of become irrelevant. So coming here with, you know, a smaller ship would probably be kind of a smart thing to do, honestly. You won't be able to carry as much cargo, obviously, but you'll be able to navigate the area a lot more easily. It's kind of a matter of pick your poison. Though I, I suppose the junk would be... All right, to sail in this area as well, <clears throat> but the brig, oh god, the brig, just just forget about it. <laughs> Looks like we're picking up speed here. All right, let's eat one of these oranges. Oh yeah, those. <laughs> Let's do a lot. Let's put my compass here so I always have it on hand. Try and neaten these up a little bit. Let's see if we get another really, really dark night here. It, it's good, but annoying at the same time. <laughs> because, um... You can't see where the heck you're going, and... Unless you're, like, really, really tired, there's not a real easy way to sleep through the night. It's kind of unfortunate, but oh well. Alright, so we're getting towards the tip of this finger here. Go ahead and get the sails ready for uh, crossing westward here. Is 
yeah, there's the there's the end of the of the beach. So we can probably go ahead and just start turning in. Probably don't want to be too aggressive with it though. Should be fine, I think. Let's bring you in as well. Let's turn the light on so you guys can see. We're barely even moving. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. We're, we're kind of going against the wind here. Maybe not that aggressive, but this feels like it does need to be brought in a little bit more. Honestly, we want to be heading, like, dead west here. I'm starting to say it correctly now. I'm not saying east. East is this way, Dalton. East is to the right. We want to head to the left. So, yeah. Uh, we're basically heading straight west now, so... Trying to keep an eye on where that beach is. It is very spooky, it has to be said. Like, all you can really see are just these giant bodies of land off in the distance, and you have no idea where you actually are. Fifty-nine gold coins, so we only have another, what, 29 coins to, to save up for, 29 gold lions. Depending on how expensive these other boats are, I mean, if, if I come across one of these other boats and they're not ungodly expensive, I might just go ahead and get those, just because they're new. Calm seas. You hear that? That's me knocking on wood. I don't. I don't want to encounter a storm in this area. This th that would be bad. I'd probably just have to drop anchor and hope for the best at that point. Uh, speaking of dropping anchor, that might be what I do here in a minute or two. Which is something I've never really bothered with in the previous archipelagos. But this area, like, I don't know how long it's going to take to get from one area to the other. And right now we're just kind of crossing this big bay area. And there's all kinds of things that could potentially happen. Like in this area right here, you've got that giant, like, really, really shallow sandbar that if it wasn't for the, the fact that this thing is very shallow bottomed we would not have made it over if we were in 
the sand bunker, the brig, maybe even the junk, uh, we would not have made that. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. Let's go ahead and lower the mainsail and the mizzen sail. And we'll loosen this just, just a little bit. I want to be able to catch wind still, but... Maybe about there. Or maybe I should bring it all the way in. That way, in case the wind shifts, we'll still catch it. Yeah, that, that'll work. And let's see if we can sleep through the night. Okay, we've woken up. Question is, where the heck are we? Are we still heading in the direction we want to be going? Yeah, we're still heading... ...directly west. I think I might want to turn a bit to the south, though. Just a little bit. Not not much. Just just a little bit. Southwest. That should that that should be fine. Because the main thing I'm worried about right now is hitting this island right here. Right now I can't see anything, so gonna go ahead and sleep again. Okay, we're fully rested. And it looks like we're heading straight for this canyon wall. Okay, actually... I'm just gonna drop anchor and wait until daytime, because I can't tell where the heck we are. Thankfully, it looks like we're not we're not gonna have to wait for very long. Okay, we're either along this wall right here, or we're over here. I can't tell. I think we're over here somewhere, but until I can actually see where the heck I'm going, I'm just going to wait. Start applying some common sense to this, I suppose. I think we can start bringing the anchor in now. Visibility isn't great, but it's better than what it was. Okay. For right now, at least, I'm just going to continue to rely on the jib sail until I get a better idea where the heck I am. I see a sandbar. And there is a sandbar here, so we might be about right here-ish.
have another orange. These orange holy okay. <laughs> they uh they really fill you up apparently. Okay, 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 okay. This is why I wanted to just rely on the jib sail for right now, because I'm not familiar with where I'm at. Oh, no, 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 We are where I think we are. This should be good enough. Just gotta go up around here and then Cena is right over here. Just stay clear away from the rocks as much as possible. This series is going to be even more nerve-wracking whenever uh, hull damage comes into the game. I have no idea when or if that's coming. I believe it is coming at some point, but probably not for any foresee like any near future. I suspect there's going to be a lot of people sinking their boats whenever that update comes out. <laughs> I will probably be among them. Now is probably not the best time to be cleaning the ship, but it gives me something to do, if nothing else. ship was bigger, I'd probably start trying to do some designs with with this, uh, what do you call this? This, this, this dirt and stuff that gets all over the boat. daytime we can actually see let's go ahead and start raising up a sail oh there's there's a smaller one uh, I think we should be able to miss it I'm gonna swing a bit more to the the starboard side though just to make darn sure we got another sandbar up there and we come around over here I think we should see Sina just check the map again yeah it's it's kind of like pin, pin ball, ping ball ball, right? Like, yeah, ping ball, like the old arcade game. Now you just kind of fall along these lines. You come over here. You start kind of like bouncing off these islands. You come around here. You hit this island. You hit this island. You go into Cena. <laughs> 